Hey everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and we're going to take a quick look at that slide screen, uh, basically home screen app. It's crazy. It has even more information than I might even be able to handle. So let's take a quick look. Um, doing this on the Nexus One works just fine there. We'll unlock it. So here's the basic, you know, home screen, today's screen, whatever that you're used to on Android 2.1. Nothing going here. I've installed slide screen. Um, we'll have screenshots up in the post so you can uh, see how that went really simple really easy and so let's say I hit the home button now I'm given an option I can use the launcher which is traditional Android or you can use slide screen and you can set it to work by default whenever you hit the home button um, I haven't done that yet so here's slide screen it is crazy basically you have um, every piece of information that your phone can uh, give you almost out of the box is right here in front of you and you know I'm coming from Windows Mobile uh, is my big background so I'm kind of used to that but this is even more so at the very top I've got no items in my missed calls haven't missed any calls I've got a couple text messages if you tap it you can go and see it if you pull down you'll see if you have more um, always stuck in the middle here is the weather info and the time and the clock that's kind of cool I've got calendar and see I got a little one next to it which shows that I've got another calendar item that I can't actually see right here and below that I've got Google Reader automatically hooks up into that um, I've got five million feeds in my Google Reader so it doesn't really help me that much but you can swipe is left or right you can swipe swipe right to clear off and it marks it as red on the server so if you go back to Google Reader on your desktop it'll take care of that. Um, it's got Google Finance built into it so I've got some stock stuff showing up and what else do I have? Twitter. Twitter showing up and again you can swipe to to mark stuff red not a problem. And notice down here at the bottom there's an ad this is the free version there is a paid version in the market let's go take a look at that real quick uh, we'll go back to my normal launcher and let's see slide screen slide screen pro seven dollars six ninety nine um, and you'll notice they do say please try it first before you buy this obviously isn't for everybody it's uh, it's pretty intense but let's go back to slide screen for a minute when you hit the menu button like I just did you're presented with a normal launcher so here's how you can get to all your normal apps and you've got eight uh, basically favorited spots so if you hold down on an app and uh, you want to put it up there there you go it's that simple what else we got we got home settings you can turn the haptic feedback off and on you can make the status bar always visible you can change the services say you don't want SMS or Gmail or something like that or the stocks so if you want to turn all that off you can turn off whatever you want that's cool you can set calendar preferences Google Reader preferences Twitter preferences Gmail preferences stock preferences system settings there we go It'll take you directly to your phone settings that's kinda nice and there's some help and this actually is what you see when you uh, when you first install slide screen so this is the tutorial uh, so you can configure the weather depending on where you are you can change it to Celsius if you need to tells you about your info and how that works you can filter the views tells you about the shortcuts usage mode home screen or normal app and that's it so again you hit the home screen you got the choice. You can use slide screen exclusively or you can use the normal launcher or both, whatever. So that's it, everybody. See you.